Hi everyone, I am Dr. Allie Elder, a physical therapist from Reactive Physical Therapy and Wellness, and I am here in my car on my way home from our exercise class at Legacy Dance Academy in El Segundo, where we have an exercise class for individuals with Parkinson's disease, and I am here to talk about the specific energy benefits of exercise for individuals with Parkinson's. So I feel like it's really fitting for me to be traveling from our class to give this Facebook live talk because this is something I'm definitely passionate about and everyone at uh, Reactive Physical Therapy is really passionate about. Um, so I just want to talk about this and the first thing I want to bring up is I hear it a lot. You know, Dr. Elder, I don't understand. You don't understand. Um, I don't have enough energy to start exercising. This is something that we hear a lot. Um, and I'm here to tell you that the reality is much different. It's exactly the opposite. Um, multiple research studies have actually concluded that the best way to beat fatigue and fight um, this kind of downward slope if you feel fatigued and all of this thing, all of these things in order to boost your energy is actually to exercise more and not less. And one of these reasons is that you actually get a lot of benefits at the cellular le level for um, boosting your energy. So exercise actually increases the activity of our mitochondria in our cells and in our muscles. Therefore, the more aerobic activity that you do, the more mitochondria your body will produce, and this will help you to keep your body doing all of the things that it loves to do. So this allows our bodies to be very efficient when they turn the energy that we eat into the energy that our body can use for activity. So something that I always like to start off when I talk to this about uh, talk to my patients about this is that it's critical that you find something that you like to do. So it's really important that you know if you go walking and that's your form of exercise that you get energy from. You know I really encourage you to put on music that you like or maybe walk at the beach where you feel like you're calm and you see the waves and it's really kind of a positive environment. This can really help you so that you feel like you get all the energy benefits that you can possibly get. Um, this is something that if you like boxing or Tai Chi or dancing, I know that I love dancing and I get a lot of energy um, from just doing short bouts of dancing, even if it's, you know, out with friends or, you know, just dancing by myself because it's fun to do. Um, but this can be particularly something that's difficult to tackle if people, if anybody, if you haven't exercised in a while. Um, and this is something that regular exercise is really hard to start doing. We know that there's all these benefits and we know that um, you get all these energy benefits, but just like I mentioned before, it can be really hard to motivate yourself to start doing it because you feel like you don't have an en enough energy to start. But we know that exercise actually gives you energy. So it's also important that you want to make that differentiation, that there's a difference between the tense energy you might get after a really intense, hard exercise, which is often, you know, related to maybe you did too much that you were ready for. You weren't ready for it at that time. So going too hard for too long can also feel it. Uh, cause us to feel pretty depleted or that you're not ready for it. Um, so I really encourage you to start slow and start to build yourself up and you really got to listen to your own body. So our best recommendation is to start with something that's a mild to moderate exercise where you're doing it for a short duration. Even if you haven't exercised in a while, five minutes can be really important and can be really helpful to do. Um, so we have mentioned in another Facebook live talk about this rating of perceived uh, perceived exertion, the RPE scale. And this can be really helpful for you to utilize when you're tracking how much effort you're putting into an activity. So it works in a 1 to 10 scale, 1 to 2 being kind of a very mild, something you would consider very easy, maybe walking, you know, from one place in your house like the bathroom to the kitchen where you're kind of putting some effort but it's not um it's not something that you put too much effort into then at maybe a three four five you're going to get more of this moderate activity this might be something where you're walking at a brisk pace with friends or you actually go out and do something that's you know exercise specific sometimes that can be just swimming or um other activities like that 
but it's important to stay in this kind of mild to moderate activity range um, for a little bit shorter range of time when you're starting. So that could be that two, three area, and then the more you get you know, experience with this, you can start increasing that level so that you feel like you're working, okay, now I'm at a four, maybe more moderate. Or you know you can start to get up into the more heavy exertion, which you're going to get other strength benefits as well. But you just don't want to start there, especially if you haven't exercised in a while. So um, just keeping that in mind. Um, the other thing we want to talk about is you can make this an example would be to go walking. You can always monitor your heart rate and do things like that. So when you start to feel like um, your heart rate's going at a little bit increased pace and you feel like things are getting a little bit harder, that's when you can say, okay, I'm getting other strength and cardiovascular benefits as well. Am I ready for this? Do I want this? And of course the answer should be yes, but you want to make sure that you're excited, you're enjoying it, and you're doing all the things that can help you um, get your body ready for getting stronger. Um, so I really hope this was helpful. Um, I always encourage you to seek out a physical therapist in your area to help you get it started on a program that fits you and is appropriate and specific to your needs. Um, but thanks again for jo joining me and don't forget exercise does give you energy. We look forward to hopefully seeing you on Saturday, February 25th as well for another free Facebook live um, exercise education and class. So join us on our Facebook page and find out more information at www.reactivept.com online. So thanks so much for joining.